If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1 9. We have a conditional statement here, a conditional promise. If we confess, then he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Let's begin by looking at the word confess. This is homologeo, and it gives us homo means the same. And legeo is the verb form of uh, logos is the word legeo is to speak. So homologeo is simply amounts to honesty. Honesty. If we are honest with God, if we acknowledge what we have done, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and he is just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now notice, it doesn't say he's merciful and kind or he is uh, nice and sweet. It says he is faithful and he is just. In other words, our forgiveness is is a just thing for God to do. Uh, and it's just, it's it's only possible for it to be just on the basis of the cross because Christ died as a propitiatory sacrifice for us. Now, what God does is he forgives our sins. Right? We, what sins are those? Well, he forgives us our, our sins, and the sins he forgives are the sins we confessed. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, that is, those sins. But we're not done, as they say on television and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In other words, uh, even though we're being honest, right, we are not trying to hide anything from God, uh, we don't have a good grasp of the, um, the depth of our problems. And so we are confessing as honestly as we know how. We confess our sins. We're not holding anything back. We're not trying to hide anything. We're confessing honestly. We're speaking the same thing that God speaks. God says it's a sin. We say it's a sin. He doesn't say it's a lie, and we call it a prevarication. That's not speaking the same. Uh, he doesn't call it adultery, and we call it an affair. That's not speaking the same thing. We're speaking honestly. But the fact that we're being honest doesn't mean that we have exhaustive knowledge of our own hearts or that we are able to drill down to the bottom of everything. And so what we have here is a glorious promise. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, the ones we confessed. And, on top of that, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And just to emphasize that again, all unrighteousness. 